And we are joined now by Nets General Manager Sean Marks. Sean, really appreciate your time and joining us this evening. We'll start with this. I know it was wild for every team around the NBA on draft night, but how crazy were things in that Brooklyn Nets war room? Yeah, you know, you hope they're not crazy. You know, I don't think any of us like to use that that word in particular, but um, things are thrown uh, your way in all different manners and, and, and timing. So I, I think it's a great opportunity for us all to work in collaboration. And, and you hope you come out of the night feeling uh, very comfortable with where you ended up. You know, you hope there's no surprises and, uh, and you worked as well as you could as a well-oiled machine. So uh, very proud of the group that, that we have. Sean, take us into this week because it's felt wild and we've had the luxury just to sit here and watch all of you guys do the work. But the fact that within a span of five days, the moratorium is lifted, you have the draft, free agency begins. What has it been like for you and your front office? You know, it's without a doubt, it's a challenge, but I think this is a time of year we always look forward to. You know, we always look forward to the draft. We look forward to free agency and we look forward to the beginning of camp. Um, very rarely do those things all sort of happen within the space of 10 days. So um, you don't want to make any excuses because we've, we've had, let's be honest, we've had seven, eight months to prepare for this. So I think um, I, I felt very comfortable um, last night and the, and the build up to the draft. And, and of course, now we've got some hard yards ahead of us when we prepare, prepare for camp, prepare for free agency and, and really put the, the final touches on, on what the team may look like. Sean, there are rumors that a certain superstar has strong interest in wearing the black and white. And I'm curious from your perspective, what does it mean to you to be in this position where players of that caliber have strong interest in playing in Brooklyn? Well, there's, there's never a dull moment. And I, and I think when, you know, maybe you're the, the part of some rumors out there and so forth, you, you, you know, you, uh, you take heed and look just how far the, the Nets organization has come. And we're, we're obviously... Uh, excited to get the team that we have, to be honest, out on the floor. And I think not only just with Kevin and Kai and Karis and Jared Allen, you, you know, you, you work your way through the roster. But, um, you know, for those guys to be having the opportunity to get out there and, and, as you said, wear the black and white, that's the most important thing. Um, it's a crazy business that we live in and, and things are thrown your way all the time. And, you know, you, you have to pivot and be flexible and maintain that throughout the season. Sean, I feel like this is a regularity for you. Stars and superstars have been wanting to come to Brooklyn and play for the Brooklyn Nets. You mentioned two of those, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, of course, everyone. Um, it just the high anticipation to finally see Kevin Durant be healthy, be back on the floor. Uh, can you give us a peek behind the curtain and uh, fill us in how he's been looking and how him and Kai, um, what you expect out of them as you get set for training camp? Yeah, I, I think you hit it right on the head. I don't think anybody is, is more excited than, than, than Kevin himself to get out back on the court. And he's mentioned numerous times, you know, he, he cannot wait to, to hopefully back, be back in Barclays and, and, you know, wearing the Nets jersey and being out there. But as it pertains to how those guys look, you know, what we've seen of them, they've been back in our gym now for a couple of days and being around, um, you know, the feedback from the performance team and how they've looked, you know, preparing has been terrific. So I know they're hungry. Uh, it goes back to you know, what these guys set out to try and accomplish a year ago, where they said, hey, look, I want to come to Brooklyn. I'm going to be part of this. I want to build something sustainable here and do something special. So um, they're putting themselves in a great place to succeed. Uh, as I think I've said a couple of times before, uh, it's it's been nothing short of remarkable to watch Kevin's development and, and the way he's attacked his rehabilitation, uh, you know, over the course of the last year. So, again, we're all, you know, chomping at the bit and very excited to, to see him out there, see the entire group out there. But, again, I think that pales in comparison to how he's feeling. Well, Sean, I know a lot of folks are looking forward to the stars on the court. How about the stars on the bench with that assistant coaching staff as well? It's been over two months since Steve Nash was hired as the head coach. What have things been like over the course of the better part of these two months in game planning as the season approaches? Yeah, uh, it, it's been incredible to watch Steve, you, you know, obviously with very little <laughs> coaching experience, you know, sitting on the bench um, behind him. But, you know, I think we've all seen how he's orchestrated teams and ran teams before from, from, a, from a point guard position. And I think he's doing exactly the same thing here. He's making um, a lot of people feel really good. There's a great environment around here. Um, people are really collaborating. And um, 
And I think the humility with which he played with is so evident when, you know, he walks into our office and, you know, he asks a lot of questions, involves a lot of people. And, uh, and honestly, the knowledge which, which he's been able to give to not only myself and the front office, but performance team, but also our players. So it's an exciting time. And uh, yeah, he has an incredible group of guys that are going to be helping him. And uh, the guys that have joined on here to be part of that staff, it, you know, it's, it's going to be exciting. And there's a wealth of knowledge there. Sean, so much credit is due to the league, to the organizations, all of you, the players. It goes on and on for finishing last season, uh, and there's been so much fluidity on anticipating the start of this next season. But but now that you're here, uh, the quick turnaround of when you guys get your roster set um, and get ready for training camp, 72 game season, uh, the challenges that we know COVID will bring and the different circumstances surrounding that. What is your approach and what you prepare for with with yourself with your guys as you get ready for a season like we are heading into yeah you know what there was never a dull moment this entire this entire summer and and trying to navigate you know the the honestly covid and the, the social awareness uh, issues that we were working through over the last sort of six months and i have no doubt that um we're going to have to maintain a, a level of flexibility we're going to have to be nimble and uh, and you know just by having that flexible um, narrative throughout, whether it's training camp, the season, you know, we're going to, we, we're not quite sure how we're going to play. Are we playing in front of fans? Where are we playing? What the actual schedule looks like and so forth. And, and we'll have to have some patience with that. But, um, I, you know, I think the fact that we went through a bubble before and that group that did that was nothing short of amazing what, what we saw there and how that group came together from a staff perspective and, and players. So that'll certainly carry forward uh, into what we're trying to do over the course of, of the next six to eight months. Sean, as we've talked in the past, you've always kind of had a, a patient approach when talking about expectations. And head coach Steve Nash yesterday on the draft broadcast said that this team is trying to contend and win a championship and they're not going to shy away from that. I'm curious how you look and approach the expectations for this team heading into this season. Well, I mean, honestly, it started, you know, five years ago when, you, you know, you would like to try and build something special. And I don't think anybody wants to be part of something that's mediocre. I think we've we've done that and it's and it started with the people that have come here, the people that have joined in, the people that have sacrificed. Um, now, I, I think we all realize we have a long, long way to go. We, we haven't done anything yet. I mean, you know, maybe some things look decent on paper, but it's the ability that hopefully now we can take another step forward, you know, and that starts from from ownership, from our star players, all the, all the way through here. You know, there's gonna be a level of sacrifice and, um, and, and there's a level of excitement. And I think it's, it, it's, it's important that we own what the goals are at the end of this, you know, and that's what we all signed up for. Well, we are all looking forward to one of the most anticipated seasons in Nets franchise history. General Manager Sean Mark. Sean, thank you so much for your time. Greatly appreciate it. Pleasure. Thanks for having me on. Be safe.